Ben, first of all, how you how you doing? And uh, did you enjoy your uh, week off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good, thanks. Yeah, I feel I feel great. Um, it, my body enjoyed the week off. Uh, my mind from teaching pre-K did not enjoy the week off. So, but it was fun to be at home with them. But I definitely miss the guys. Brooke Pryor. Ben, you've played before without practicing much. Does that, how, how different was this week not practicing and doing everything virtually? And how much did you get out of being able to do an extended walkthrough on Saturday uh, today um, after this week off? Yeah, it's definitely different um, than years past, just because typically um, when I haven't practiced, I've been at least on the field behind the quarterbacks, hearing the calls that were made, hearing the play call coming from the coach. Uh, Pouncey's calls, things like that. So as, as Coach Tomlin would say, the in-helmet perspective, um, even if you're not out there, you at least um, can hear it and be a part of it. So it was definitely different. I, I watched every play of practice, but you just watch on your iPad at home, and so you don't get to hear all those things. So it was, it was definitely a lot different than, than anything I've experienced before. Mark Caboli. Hey, Ben. Uh, I was just wondering uh, – was it any time nerve wracking or concerned that you're staying at home with the family and uh, potentially uh, being exposed like that? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're always a little nervous about it. Um, but I wore a mask uh, when I was at home. Uh, if we went anywhere in the car, I wore a mask. The, the family got tested every other day, too. I got tested every day. They got tested every other day. So, um, you know, but but you're always you're always nervous. The um, my wife slept in, we, we slept in opposite rooms, things like that. So, um, you know, you, 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 you know, my wife kind of said, like, I don't care if I get it, but we don't want our kids to get it. You know, you, you always care more about your kids than you care about yourself or, or anyone. But um, we've been as safe as we could possibly be at home, I think. All right, let's go to Didi Kinkobala. Didi? Okay, I apologize. Uh, ben, I keep thinking back to that 2015 game against the Browns when you didn't practice all week, you came in for Landry and you threw for nearly 400 yards. Does it feel similar or do you feel like you've had more preparation or thinking about the last few weeks where you're kind of throwing things out of the dirt anyway? I mean, tell us what this week is like knowing you're starting without having played other than today. Yeah, it's, I mean, like I just said, it's, it's way different. Um, you know, you're, you're a part, I mean, there's something to be said too, and maybe I'm old school, but about sitting in a meeting, um, when you're installing stuff where your coach is talking and you, your guys are in there in the same room and you can have dialogue and you can, um, you know, talk about little nuances and yeah, you can still do that through the zoom meetings and things like that, but it's just, it's just different. Um, and so this week was, um, much different than anything I've experienced by not being able to be here, like I said, to be on the field, to have communication with guys during practice. So it's, it's definitely a lot different than, than anything I've experienced before. All right, last one, we'll go to Noah Strachan. Noah? Hey, Ben, you kind of just answered what I was going to ask, but how difficult was it to make adjustments? I knew you're watching on the iPad and stuff, but, you know, in, in practice and then again in, in meetings and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I was able to chime in, you know, during the meetings, you know, you just unmute yourself for a second, but um, it, it's still, it, it's still, you don't know um, how wired in guys are, right? Like in, in today's society, guys have an iPad in front of them, but they also might have their phone next to them, you know, looking at things or watching TV or whatever it might be where when you're in a meet, I'm not saying that's happening, but you just don't know where, when you're in the, when you're in a meeting room, you know, everyone's dialed and you know what's going on. So you can communicate a little bit easier, obviously in person and, and and the hard part was practice. I couldn't communicate at all, right? Because everything was was taped and sent to me, and there's no sound to it. So um, a lot of text to to Coach Randy, to Coach Canada. Um, you know, what was this? What happened here? What did you think about? Th you know, just just trying to find any way possible to communicate. Um, a lot of text messages at, at night with those guys.